Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 12 of Sunshine in the Mirror. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. been there since day one, since you were born. Mm hmm. Help. Okay, thank goodness. Oh no. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
you want to go by yourself, though? It's dangerous. Yeah, that's the sound of a piglet. Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah, without even saying goodbye, babe. No, Rico, it's okay. Oh, it's so cute, oh my God. Where the heck could Lilaps go, though? Now, if she's at the tree bark where Johanna uses the stage, then that would kind of make the most sense. But I don't know. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Not home, huh?
That's not true. You always need friends. You're not going to freak out? <laughs> Ma'am, you're talking. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm -mm. and I want you to go with me can't always stay here And see, she, you can see and tell that she's feeling super upset about that, but she just won't find the words or the, the courage. The only reason why she's being so harsh on her is because she doesn't want her to leave. I get that. It, it's very similar like when all of us grow up and we graduate high school and we're moving on and starting our chapters of our lives. And some of us end up staying in the state that we've lived in for half of our life um, while others move on. 
and sometimes the ones that do stay or even go even after you start your new life and your new journey you still feel stuck and you're still trying to figure out what is next in my life and that's okay it, it is hard trust me We all get scared. With you. Aww. I'm not ready. How
It was beautiful. Oh my god. We had an episode like that too. Oh, that hurt. Gave me some freaking Project Tokyo Dolls like feels. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> yep. That's a trigger. Oh, you give me, you give me a girl who I can relate to, and her puppy, and it just, that's it. You're like, yep, that's me. Oh my god. <laughs> But she's still there, though. That's the thing. She's not gone. She's still there. But it's just now because she can't speak. It's like, damn it. <laughs> this song was beautiful. Once again, my anime idols making me cry. <laughs> just like, oh my god. It's, it's the year once again to just cry over everything. Oh my god. But yeah, this truly hurt. Like, I mean, well, obviously we all knew last week going into the preview. Like, it was gonna hurt today. And truly, it hurt. But she still has her. And, and that's all that matters. But the thing is, yes, yeah, she can't speak. But... She still has those memories of when they were both able to communicate with each other. It also gave me feels, like, kind of a little bit to Steins Gate, especially with, like, the fact of not the... <sighs> not more the use of magic, but, like, the, the gifts that she was giving out or getting, especially with the fact that Lilaps could communicate and such. It's very similar to that where it's like, oh, we were using the time machine for so many different things and such. But the one thing that, you know, um, <laughs> I forgot his name, wanted, he had to take everything away from everyone in order to get her back. And so when you realize what happens in that series and what he has to do to get her back, it, it's really, truly sad. And you'd be like, Damn. Like, I, after I finished the original Steins Gate, I, I was in a little rut and such. And just seeing this, it just reminds me of how, like, sad I was um, when I specifically finished the, the show. But at the same time, how much of a wild journey it is, it's been with it. And that's the same thing with this. This has been a really crazy journey and such. And the fact that next week is the final episode does really sadden me a lot. Because it feels like this is just beginning. And I feel like even with the way it is going to end next week, there still is going to be quote unquote more and such. So there is a potential for a second season. That is if they really want to and such. And of course, because it is Love Live, we're going to milk the crap out of this series. How Sunshine, um, nope, wrong one. Wrong one. Superstar season three has now already been confirmed. So once again, we are, you know, taking away the traditions of two seasons of a show uh, for this series, and then a movie, we're now going into a third season of a show. I think also Nijikasaki is going to get either, what, a season four or three, and then also the movie as well, and such. So, yeah, the, the sky is the limit for Love Live regardless, and the fact is, you know, also seeing my Aqua Girls getting a spinoff for them, it still gives me a little teeny tiny bit of hope that, yes, my Muse girls will eventually come back in some way 
shape or form and such if they wanted to just decide to do um a love life all-stars type series where it's all the girls and such together that would be a good idea because game wise they're they've done that with the all-star series so why not go ahead and continue that via anime and such and it would it would be nice to really see all of these girls genuinely interacting together and just fangirling over anything. Think about like Pretty Cure or freaking um, Idol Master, uh, Idol Master in a nutshell, and how when those characters all get together, it's just a really feel good time. And I want to see that with this series. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that does happen. Um, just I'm gonna be a little saddened for the next couple of hours before I go to bed, but. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 12 of Sunshine in the Mirror. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for the final episode. Bye, guys.